The U.S. Open Cup comes to a neighborhood near you. This tournament features MLS teams, A-League teams, and even some weekend warriors. Today's combatants in red and black from Division Three U Sissel Soccer, the San Francisco Seals, tangling it up. In white and black, the Seattle Sounders from the league above the Seals, the A-League, one step away from Major League Soccer. Now, it will get nasty and it will get physical because the winner of this team faces the MLS Kansas City Wizards. Definitely a lot riding on this contest. Marquise White chases down the ball. Marquise White with some sweet moves. He makes a great pass to Shane Watkins. But keeper Dusty Huda, Huda, Huda trying to be bad. Moments later, the Seals attack again. And when the ball squirts loose, it's a great chance for Mike Davini, who says why not and lets it fly. But Huda just manages to get a fingernail on it. It kisses the bar and goes on over the net. And we're all tangled up. 0-0. Zero, zero. The Sounders threaten with a solid entry, but up and coming keeper J.J. Wozniak punches it out of there to break up Seattle's little tea party before they had too much fun. San Francisco starting to take advantage of their speed. Troya Cowell gives them some MLS moves. What a pass to Marquise White. Go San Francisco. The Seals go out in front one to nothing and take a huge step in their ultimate quest to face an MLS team and win the U.S. Cup. Man, those fans are going crazy. A lot of good times going on when the Seals and their faithful followers get together. one nothing into the second half. Seattle with a golden opportunity here. A direct free kick, 27 and a half yards out. It hits his flat head. But J.J. Wozniak is there to come up big. And J.J., with his Skeletor gear, has got the fans doing some crazy things. Everybody having a real good time over at Negoesco Field. Here comes the Seals, Angelo Sablo. He feeds Troya, who spins and delivers. And it's SF who's taking the fight to Seattle. They're wearing him down with that great team speed. But the Sounders will not go quietly into the night. Another free kick. The human projectile, J.J. Wozniak, has got the hot hand in the box for the Seals, and he's still pitching a shutout. 20 minutes left in the contest. The Sounders still trying to bake the barrier. J.J. gives it up for the team. Shake, rattle, and roll. You got to admire his guts. And we're going to see one more great save from Kid Dino Mai, J.J. Wozniak, just one of the many stars on this very exciting squad. Big night for the Seals and their fans as they beat a team from a supposedly better division. They will now play the MLS Kansas City Wizards Thursday, June 24th at Nego Esco Field, 759-6927 for information. The Kansas City Wiz, an MLS team, has come to the city of San Francisco for the first time ever. There go the San Francisco Seals in the silky white uniforms with red lettering. Kansas City on the move with the black shorts and the kind of rainbow, aqua rainbow tops. San Francisco controls on the far sideline. They try to work it back toward the middle. They gain possession there, back toward the near sideline. San Francisco definitely up for this ball game. Chris Davini in the middle of the field. A great pass to Marquise White. 
and he's got a shot, folks. He lets it fly, and it's goal! San Francisco, I don't believe it. I sincerely did not believe this. San Francisco, in the first minute of the game, has jumped out in front of the MLS Kansas City Wizards. This has got to be a shocker to everybody. And let's take another look to see exactly how that goal developed. Davini with a great pass. There's Marquise White, the former USF star. Puts it in front of himself beautifully. Paya just under the goalkeeper's arm into the back of the net. That's an amazing goal. That's a really nice shot. San Francisco has shocked the city. They take the one nothing lead. We're gonna move forward a little now in time, about seven minutes into the game here. Kansas City, I think they're in a little bit of a shock. I think they were very surprised by that. I think they're surprised by the speed that San Francisco displayed there. And it'd be very interesting to see how this team reacts now. As you can see, some of the fog starting to swirl on the field here at Negoesco. It'll be Kansas City's possession on the throw-in as they're uh, trying to come back now. They're down one nothing. Let's see if they can put anything together. They work it back toward the near sideline. It's Pittman over there, the former Ucissel player. Crosses about midfield. SF breaks it up, sends it back. Kansas City not afraid to retreat, though. They'll go back a little bit if it'll help them gain some uh, advantage, tactical advantage. A long through pass, but a little too far. There's uh, Angelo Sablo on the defense there. He kicks it away. Kansas City maintains possession, and Pittman is going to bring it on in. Mo Johnson with the touch. Back to the midfield to... Matt McKean, McKean works it over to the far sideline, back to the middle of the field. Kansas City really showing their poise now as they're uh, starting to maintain possession, starting to show a little of that ball control that makes them one of the uh, deadlier teams in the MLS. Mark Chung there, one of the leading scorers on this team. Tries to send it near goal, but nobody home. Big J.J. Wozniak, the up and coming goalie, former Fresno player. There to maintain control. Pointing out a few directions so his team can get orchestrated. JJ looks like he's going to give it to Big Boot. No, can't find anybody. Now he sends it downfield. Kansas City is there to head it back toward the San Francisco side of the field. And once again, KC maintains control. Currently, at, at the time of this game, KC is uh, in first place in the Western Conference in the MLS standings. Pittman with a great cross, but Kenny Folan there marking up on a man there to break up the play. A nice play by the San Francisco Bay Seals defenders. They maintain possession on the far sideline. And a great crowd here tonight. Not only are there a lot of spectators over on the far sideline, you can see them packed in there, but beside the booth on us to either side of us, uh, the, the stands are packed. So really a full house. We'll try to get a crowd estimate uh, a little bit later for you, tell you how many people are in here. But now let's get back to that really good action. The Seals trying to hound them. But once again, Kansas City playing great ball control soccer, taking their time, uh, not being too impatient. They're going to pick their shots. And I guarantee you, when they let a few fly, they're going to let a few fly. They've got the league's leading scorer, Precky. He's got 28 points. Mark Chung, he can light it up. I think the only one who is in here is Vitalis Digital Takawira. He's off playing for the Zimbabwe national team, so he couldn't make it for this contest. But other than that, Kansas City is here in force, and they're ready to play. Let's see if the Seals can hold on to that one nothing lead as Kansas City maintains ball control. They're really, uh, they're looking good. Kansas City doesn't seem to be too rattled after the uh, San Francisco Bay Seals score. They're handling the ball nicely. But sooner or later, you know they're going to take a crack at it. A nice entry headed back out by San Francisco. And here comes Klopas. He sees an angle. Nice shot, but just a little left to the pipe. Let's pick it up a few minutes later when Kansas City has a great chance to even it up. But J.J. Wozniak is there to make the stop. Now here's the corner kick resulting from that stop by J.J. as Kansas City brings it in. The header almost goes in just over the top of the bar. San Francisco holding on as they put the ball back into play. Kansas City immediately, though, right there to head it back into San Francisco's half of the field. The Bay Seals control. Troy Cowell with a nice move. 
Another great pass to Marquise White. Can he do it again? Oh, just to the left and just a little high. But once again, that speed of San Francisco really showing itself, really showing itself to be very dangerous. And it looks like the San Francisco team might have an advantage in that category. And speed definitely one of the deadliest weapons in all of sports, and especially here in the game of soccer. What can you do to combat speed? Well. Looks like Kansas City is being patient, playing great tactical soccer, and that's how they're trying to combat it. Again, the entry, but headed out by San Francisco with the one nothing advantage. San Francisco can just kind of uh, change their philosophy of play now. You see how they're kind of packing him in back on the defense and uh, just whacking it back downfield, letting Kansas City set up way back there, and that's what KC's doing. They bring it up. Paul Wright maintains control. He finds a little crease, passes over to Precky. Precky stripped there at the last minute by the San Francisco defender. But Kansas City is relentless. They send it back in, headed out by SF, and Mark Chung gathers on the far sideline. They work it back toward the middle of the field. Shot toward goal, the header just missed. Back toward us, it's uh, Klopas with the ball. He drives, he shoots. But Angelo Sablo is there to get a foot on it and uh, clip it. And after he touched it, it was easy work for Wozniak, who just gobbled it in. Wozniak sends it back toward the middle of the field. San Francisco, ball intercepted by Kansas City. Kansas City has maintained the ball for most of this first half. But despite that, they're still down one to nothing. Now, San Francisco has really had some big wins as of late. Besides beating the A-League Seattle Sounders to get to this game, they also plummeled the Dao Yin Wandai, the Chinese professional champs, 7-2. to two. And that really was an amazing victory for this team, and they seem to be holding their own against the MLS Kansas City Wizards. Wozniak gobbles it up, puts it back into play. Pornikosi over there with the ball. He lets it fly downfield. Marquise White trying to chase it down, but a nice job by the KC defenders there to uh, strip it and push it back upfield. San Francisco regains possession. Kenneth Folan, the former USF star with the pill, works it toward the midfield stripe. But it's Kansas City who comes up with another steal. Okafor with the nice play, and then San Francisco gets a little physical on him. I'm sure this game is going to get a lot more physical as it develops, especially if Kansas City stays behind. I'm sure they're going to try to intimidate and put as much pressure on the base heels as possible. San Francisco defending well, kick it back across the midfield line. The Wiz are going to have to reload and try it again from there. They send it toward the middle. That's McKeon with the pill. San Francisco breaking it up. They're over there fighting for the ball. But it looks like it's the Wiz who come away with possession again. And it's the Wiz, the KC Wiz, who have been maintaining ball control throughout most of the first half, despite being down one to nothing. And I don't know if that's a case of San Francisco changing its strategy or if it's uh, more of just San Francisco kind of expecting a stronger charge from this uh, MLS squad. Nonetheless, San Francisco doing a great job of defending, but here comes the Wiz now, right down the middle. But San Francisco once again there to kick it away. So San Francisco doing a great job defending that one to nothing lead. Let's move a little later here in the first half. Kansas City again with the ball under their control. A nice pass upfield to Mo Johnson. Mo back across the line to Pittman. And once again, Casey taking their time. Klopas with the move and the drive, getting it back toward the middle. Mo Johnson there, looking, pointing, directing traffic, then back toward the middle to Pittman. Pittman out to the side. Kansas City really within striking distance right here. They let it fly up toward goal. Wozniak with the stretch and grab to deny. JJ Kid Dynamite pitching that shutout so far. Let's get back to the action in the middle of the field. Angelo Sablo with a little room to work. He moves it ahead of himself, back toward the middle. Oh, it just sneaks through. A golden opportunity right there for the Bay Seal to take a 2-0 lead, but they maintain possession and they're gonna bring it in from the far corner. Watkins with the cross. 
There's Paul Wright trying to head it out of there. Paul Wright trying to maintain control. And look at him yank at the seal. And the seal yanks back. Chris Davini says, hey, you want to play rough? I can play rough too. But it's Davini who gets spotted and called for the foul. Here come the Wizards quickly putting it back into play. Precky with the ball, Precky with the shot. Blocked nicely by Troya Cowell. Another chance for Mike Chung, but the Seals are just playing great defense. And here we've got a chance to look at that last foul as Wright just rips him at the back of the neck. And Davini wants a little piece of Wright. He's not at all intimidated. He can play this way. The Seals aren't going to be pushed around, but so often in soccer, it's the retaliation that gets spotted, and that was the case there. San Francisco now with control of the ball. Shane Watkins to Marquise White. Marquise White, the former USF star, already has one goal in the books today. He leaves it to Folan who crosses, but once again, the Wizards are playing some solid defense. They've got more size than the Seals. If that's one thing they have, they've got more size. They've got big men back there with some foot speed. You can't say they're not fast, but if there's an advantage that SF does have, it's their speed. The physical play there gets spotted that time, and uh, SF is gonna get the benefit of the doubt as they bring it back into play. Sending it downfield, the Wizards intercept. Uh, San Francisco not really maintaining any kind of structured uh, movement downfield. With the one nothing lead, they just seem to be sending it downfield and hopefully some of their speedy fellas can run under it and uh, make a play or two for them. It worked early in the game and so they're sticking to that game plan while the Withers seem to have a more methodical attack. Some more physical play right there, but the referee says play on and play on they do. Okafer. Over to Klopas. Klopas works back toward the middle. He's got a little room. Goal, Wizards. Just like that. Bam. Klopas ties up the contest. One, two, one. And that shot came out of nowhere. Let's take a look again from the field level. Klopas kind of fades left, then back toward the middle. It clips C.J. Brown and off the fingers of Wozniak into the back of the net. This game is all tied up one to one. A great contest up here at Nego Esco Field, and that's how it's gonna stay. At the half, it's all knotted up, and it looks like Kansas City is a little surprised. They've got a bit more that they bargained for in the San Francisco Bay Seals. We'll be right back with the second half of this exciting contest. Hello folks and welcome back to this U.S. Open Cup match. We're in the third round and the Wizards ain't in Kansas City no more. They're here at Nego Esco. It's all tied up one to one and the Seals in white are bringing it on. A nice punch out by the Wizards keeper Snitka, but SF maintains control. Angelo Sablo tracks it down. He crosses, headed out there by Pittman, but Shawnee Simpson with the left foot little bit wide to the left but san francisco is coming and they are not at all intimidated by this mls kansas city wizards team cowell with the corner it slips through sablo over there to track it down once again it gets physical a push paul wright just pushed him paul wright getting really nasty out there flat out push the SF Bay Seal players, but hey, if they want to play like that, let's see if SF can take advantage of their over-aggressiveness. Cowell over to the far sideline to send it toward goal. It's bouncing around, and Shawnee Simpson with a shot deflected out, and then Okafer comes up with a nice strip away. Okafer with a, a great ball game, and Pracky sends it downfield, but Troya Cowell is there to tap it back to Wozniak, and avoid the dangerous situation. Tim Weaver 
Back to Weaver. Weaver trying to work it upfield. Cowell retreats a little. Over to the far side. San Francisco now trying to be patient themselves. We're in a 1-1 one -one ball game. The Bay Seals work it forward. Marquise White, he's got the keeper B. What a shot! Goal, San Francisco. Marquise White making it look easy. And San Francisco is up two to one in the 50th minute of this contest. SF once again shocks the world. Let's see it again as Marquise White has him beat right there. Burn City, the keeper comes out too far. He slides White just in between the defender and the post. Back of the net, San Francisco, they are up two to one and it looks good. It really looks good for San Francisco right here. After taking a one nothing lead, KC ties it up 1-1. San Francisco back out in front on Marquise White, second goal of the day. He scored in the first half. The former star from USF, the kid from San Ramon, doing it all. And it seems like when Kansas City tied up the ball game one to one, it, it kind of snapped the Bay Seals out of the fog you might say that they were in and it kind of got them back into their game plan. They capitalized with the goal. So San Francisco, um, after being tied, seemed like they refocused after they came out at the half. A little physical play there by uh, Kansas City. Uh, looked like he just knocked into the back of the San Francisco player. But once again, San Francisco maintaining their composure, getting back into their game plan and getting back on top of the KC Wizards. Kansas City sends it far downfield. There's going to be an offside call there, and uh, San Francisco's kind of feeling it now. The fans are kind of feeling it. Uh, it. It's starting to be a little excitement here. And if somehow San Francisco can pull off this victory, it will be the biggest victory in SF Seals history. And here comes White with another shot, this time wide of the mark. But San Francisco now slicing down the field like a hot knife through fog, if you know what I mean. San Francisco trying to chase it down on the far sideline there. And it's Sablo who maintains control. Kim Ty Simpson running it down, but he's tackled there and no call. The refs say play on. They're letting it get a little more physical. Uh, bodies are starting to bump out there and uh, Kansas City once again trailing. You know they're gonna try to bring down the hammer on the smaller SF team. But look at San Francisco work. Mike Chung though there with a beautiful strip. He's working it back downfield. Nobody putting pressure on him. A nice pass toward the middle. Right leaves it for Mo Johnson. Oh, close, but no mangoes, baby. And let's see just how close that was. A nice leave off the head of right. Mo one touches it just to the right of the post. San Francisco avoids the equalizer. The Wizards are coming, and they're coming strong. Brecky out to Chung. Chung to the middle. Wozniak slaps it out, but still it's dangerously close to the goal. The Wizards working it back to the middle. Somebody's got to kick it out of there for San Francisco. They get it toward the corner. Robert Gallo with a nice defense. Back in. Wozniak with the punch out. Some great action in front of the net. And Chris Devini is there to clear it away. I don't know how much longer this San Francisco team can hold on. They're up by one, but the Wizards keep pressing, keep pressing, and keep pushing that ball back downfield. A little bumping, a little uh, physical play in there. Looks like San Francisco is going to maintain the ball. Weaver puts it into play. Over there to Kim Tai Simpson. Kim Tai down to the corner, but intercepted easily by the Wizards. And here comes Klopas. Klopas already with one goal today. CJ Brown there playing some nice defense. But here comes Klopas again. Brown on him. Nice defense as Tim Weaver comes in there to tap the ball away. Weaver with control, sends it back downfield, and there's Marquise White. Marquise White, can he do it again? White back toward the middle. Tinsley intercepts and heads it away. You got to think that this Kansas City team is impressed with what they see in San Francisco. Uh, they got no time to think about it, though. They're down 2-1 to one, about midway through the second half. Precky cross field. Then it's back toward the near sideline. San Francisco gets it. Cowell is stripped by Precky. Precky working toward the middle. Precky over to Mo Johnson. 
Becky back to Johnson. Johnson lets it fly over the bar. Wozniak laying it out. Let's check out that one again. Mo Johnson with a powerful boot. But Wozniak gets up to put a fingertip on it and ensure that that shot went over the bar. San Francisco holding on. Here comes the fog. More and more fog, and that's got to be to San Francisco's advantage. They play in it. They know how it is. They know how to stay loose in these conditions. Players can cramp up when it gets cold. And uh, San Francisco, knowing these conditions, um, maybe they know how to handle it better. Could be an advantage. Maybe it's not but it's working so far. Bowers, Bowers, did you see the tug by Bowers? But the ref says play on. I guess it really didn't have a change in the course of the play there. So despite the tugging of the jersey, the ref says play on, and San Francisco takes the advantage. Driving, driving with the ball is Roman Ritz. Working on him is uh, Pittman, the defender, and Pittman basically just being a wall over there and uh, not letting Ritz get through. The Wizards try to send it back downfield. Coming up the far sideline, it looks like Chung. Chung back to right. Right in the middle, he works it to Precky. Precky out there, one-on-one, -on -one, back to the middle. He's looking, he's looking. Great defense by San Francisco. Precky wants the foul, he ain't gonna get it. San Francisco playing really tough that time. I really like the way they muscled up, showing no intimidation, and Precky, a little overzealous, he's gonna get the yellow card. The Wizards keep on coming out there to Mo Johnson. The Wizards really pressing now as it's getting late in the second half. They're still trailing two to one. Roman Ritz works it forward with his head. Roman Ritz on the move, one on one. He leaves it for Cowell, but he just can't leave it far enough. And that would have been golden if Cowell could have got on it. But there's Shawnee Simpson with the steal. Shawnee Simpson on the move, but it's stripped right back by Tinsley. Tinsley playing strong ball. Tinsley over the line to Precky. Precky on the move. Precky by one defender. Precky splits another two defenders. Sends it across the field to Johnson. Johnson with the tap to Klobis. Klobis blocked, but there was an offside call. A great block by Wozniak just in case, but the ref got him for offside that time. Not much time left in this ball game, folks. We're under five minutes in this contest. San Francisco trying to slow up the pace, trying to take their time, trying to eat up the last few minutes of the game. The time is not being displayed currently on the scoreboard. It's in the referee's hand. And as soon as he blows that whistle, the game will be decided. If he blows it soon, Kansas City's gonna lose two to one. So they are definitely pressing now. Precky on the move, but it's stripped away by Robert Gallo. Tinsley brings it in from the sideline to right. Kansas City got to put something on the board, and they know that more than anybody. Looking for an angle, they back it off just a little. Being patient here, but they can't be too patient as time is running out on the Wizards team. Mark Chung with the shot. C.J. Brown once again giving up his body for the team, protecting that lead, throwing his body out there with reckless abandon, and, and that kind of play, that hungry play from the Seals is uh, really starting to frustrate this Kansas City team, and, and I kind of think they're, they're kind of beginning to become unraveled here in the waning minutes of the game. They actually realize they could lose it. San Francisco clears it away. The crowd, most of the crowd is now on their feet, and there it is. There it is, folks, there's the Whistles, and the SF Seals have just defeated the MLS Kansas City Wizards. The players storm the field. And here come the fans. What a great scene at Negoesco Field, and what a great moment for the city of San Francisco as the San Francisco Bay Seals defeat the MLS Kansas City Wizards. They are now in the Big Eight, folks. They advance to the quarterfinals in the US Open Cup. Pandemonium has broken out here at Nego Esco Field. The Seals have defeated the MLS Kansas City Wizards, and I've got one of the men here responsible for that victory. Uh, tell us now, what did you think your chances were going into this game facing an MLS team? I felt we had a good chance because uh, we felt like we matched up like, well against the defenders, and we, just, we came with a lot of heart. We played with a lot of heart today, and that's what, that's what beat them today. Okay, Marquise, boom, right off the bat, uh, you guys score the goal. How did that set the pace, or, or what did that do to the tone of the game? Actually, that kind of messed up our pace because we got 
big head and we kind of laid back a little bit and they just kept pounding away at us. We were hoping to get that goal a little later in the first half, but hey, we'll take our goals when we get them. Okay, um, where does this set your team up for now? Uh, are you guys going to be too high or can you come down and win in the next round? Oh, we're going to win the next, we're going all the way. Okay, okay. No, what doubt, is this, no doubt. What does this mean to you and to the Seals and even to the city of San Francisco to bring home such a big victory like this, a big upset victory? This is the biggest victory of our history, and uh, we're saving this right now, but we got another game. Okay. You scored, so you just, you're just not going to get ahead of yourself. You're not going to get too happy. You scored both goals today. Can you run down the first goal for me? Well, I don't know who gave me the ball, but I saw the opening, and I just ran through the hole, and the ball was there. And I thought it was offside, but I just kept playing, no whistle, put it away. Tell me about the second goal that uh, you guys were tied one-to-one, -one, then you go ahead, back in front. Tell me about the second goal. Second goal, I just felt that was, that was the opportunity to put, put the net on the coffin, and I just put it away. The goalie came out, he committed, put it to the side, slotted it away. Let's get the game underway. We're about a minute into this contest. The San Francisco Bay Seals in the white uniforms with the red lettering coming into this game with a 23 and six record. There's JJ Wozniak, their goalie. And the clash, the MLS San Jose clash with a record in 10 and 14 coming into this contest. Shawnee Simpson collects the ball, works past the man, sends it past the midfield stripe to Troy Cowell. Let the clash break it up. And they're going to take possession. Dominic Kinnear falling down, and Marquise White takes it from him. Angelo Savlo now controls. They work it back to C.J. Brown. And he hits it on up to Kenneth Folan. Folan trying to make a move there. Sends it down the far sideline into the corner. And big John Doyle with the boot away. San Francisco will bring it in from that far corner sideline and you can see there's not much room for them to work down there as the stadium and the fans are right on top of you here in San Jose Spartan Stadium now down to the corner they've got a little angle Watkins back toward the middle but big John Doyle heads it up in the air and easy work for Kramer to swallow it on up Kramer whips it on out to Emanalo and Emanalo working it upfield slowly being patient it's Vaughn Urbani with the ball. Watkins tries to steal it, and Urbani with a push from the back. And San Francisco gets the call that time. And they've got a chance now. Looks like Weaver's going to bring it in. He taps it on over to Troya. Troya sends it to Watkins. Watkins back out to Shawnee Simpson. Shawnee Simpson works it on over to Davini. Davini with a through pass, but Kramer coming out there makes the right decision and cuts off the angle before Shane Watkins could do any damage. Kramer sends it back downfield. Lozano works it ahead but just a little too far and big J.J. Wozniak is there to gobble it up and send the booming kick back downfield. We lose it for a second but no problem for Kramer who makes the stop. Lozano cross midfield but it's going to go out of bounds off the seals. Clash maintain control. Lozano to Kinnear. Back to Lozano. And San Francisco looks like they're going to come out of it. Gallo ahead to Weaver. Weaver has it stripped away. Back toward the San Francisco goal, but no problem as they clear it out from there over to the near sideline. Let's move ahead to about the 17 minute mark of the ball game. San Jose with a great chance to get on the board, and it's, they set up a play, and Kinnear, Kinnear to the middle, it's headed, and Gallo tries to clear it out, he doesn't get much of the ball, and San Jose maintaining, they've got a chance here, 
back toward the middle, but it's cleared out by San Francisco. A great opportunity for San Jose, but San Francisco marking them up inside the box. They deny. Let's go now to the about the 19th minute of the ball game. Wozniak with a big booming kick. John Doyle heads it back onto San Francisco's side of the field, but Angelo Sablo works it ahead to White. Just a little too far as the goalie comes way out. And San Francisco needs to attack now while he's out of position. Watkins pushing back toward the middle. Arnold Cruz with a nice header. Arnold Cruz, the last line of defense that time. Watkins beat the keeper, but it was Cruz who uh, got in the way of the crossing pass and headed it directly into Kramer's hands. Now Kramer directing traffic. Rolls it out there to Cruz. Cruz over to Emanalo. And Emanalo works it across the midfield stripe. A fight for possession, and it's Sean Medved who comes down with it. He fires a blast, but it looked like it was Tim Weaver who really got a piece of it and sent that ball wide right. Back down the other way, San Francisco trying to counter, but the clash knock it on out of there. Lozano. Stolen by Davini, little contact, no call, and San Jose is gonna bring it in. Kinnear, back to Lozano. Lozano working, he's looking for an angle, driving, being triple teamed, and he's still got the ball. There's a whistle, and there's a whistle, and it looks like San Jose is gonna get the benefit of a very generous call, and it's Ronald Cerritos who lines up for the penalty kick Mano Imano with J.J. Wozniak, and he makes quick work of them. Wozniak goes left, Cerrito slides the shot inside the post on the right-hand side, and in the 19th minute of this ball game, the San Jose Clash take the one nothing lead over the San Francisco Bay Seals. Now just minutes later, at about the 21st minute of the contest, San Francisco trying to counter. They're down one nothing, and it's gonna be very interesting to see how they react to this situation. San Francisco jumps on the ball, and uh, Shawnee Simpson is fouled over there by Tim Martin, and Tim Martin's being called over, and the referee's gonna show him a yellow card. So that's the first yellow card we've seen today. And San Francisco is gonna bring it in about the midfield stripe. Shawnee Simpson looking for somebody. He finds Weaver. Weaver to Troy Cowell, back to Shawnee Simpson. Kinnear chases it down, and it looks like Kinnear who makes a beautiful outlet pass to the wing, and San Jose has got some room to work. Oh, a beautiful sliding stop by C.J. Brown. The ball pops up in the air, and there's J.J. Wozniak to make an easy stop. Let's move ahead now to about the 34th minute of the first half. San Francisco still down one to nothing, but they're trying to get the equalizer. A nice pass to Shawnee Simpson. Shawnee Simpson in the near corner, working one-on-one, -on -one, tries to go baseline but is turned away by Lozano. Lozano out to Kinnear, and San Jose comes away with the ball, but San Francisco, aggressive with some nice defense, makes a steal. Troy Cowell pushes ahead to Marquise White. Marquise White trying to make a play, but Kramer with some excellent defense. He saw the opportunity to jump on the ball, and that's exactly what he did. John Doyle maintaining control, pushes it forward, being pressured there. Then to the middle and to the midfield strike. A booming through pass, which is intercepted by San Francisco and then quickly regained by San Jose. San Jose with a header over the bar. That San Jose clash team is coming as they have outshot San Francisco here in the first half. Let's move ahead with just about five minutes remaining in the first half. Still the one nothing score as J.J. Wozniak sends a boomer which Doyle just heads back across the line, but San Francisco maintains control at midfield. Simpson with the ball. Oh, he tries to feed Marquise White, but just a little too hard, and Marquise can't get to it. Kramer swallows it, swallows it up and sends it out to Emanaldo. Emanaldo stripped, and San Francisco comes away with it. But San Jose quickly takes it right back. Ronald Cerritos. The only guy in this ball game to score. He's given his team a one nothing lead. He works it back toward the middle. San Francisco takes it away there. 
but then the pass is behind the mark and the San Francisco Bay Seals quickly give it right back up to the clash. Doyle with the ball, big John Doyle sends a boomer downfield and just a little too hard. If he could have put a little more air under that ball, giving his players a chance to run under it, they might have had a shot at something there. But as it is, Wozniak going to clear away. He sends a big ball to the midfield stripe. It's headed forward by San Francisco. Marquise White getting on it. And Manalo with the strip away. San Jose pushing. Cross midfield, they've got something to work with. Lozano, he's got an opening, he lets it go. But a great stop by J.J. Wozniak, the human projectile. And let's take a look at that one again from our end zone camera and see exactly how fast this ball is coming. Lozano fires away and Wozniak doing a great job of protecting the near post, sends it away. So Wozniak has played some big games in the past. Again, rising to the occasion here. The only score he's given up has been that uh, the uh, one nothing Cerrito shot on the San Jose penalty kick. Now the clash with an opportunity. But San Francisco last line of defense doing a good job. Angelo Sablo turning him away. He sends it up there to Weaver. Weaver back to Sablo. We're under one minute left in the half. The referee's got the actual time. Marquise White tries to control. Troy Cowell works it back toward the middle. He slips a pass ahead to Kenneth Folan, and Kenneth Folan is taken down hard, but no call. Looks like some of the Clash fans are yelling for a flop as they think Folan took the dive, and then Folan quickly gets back up as soon as he gets the smell of that ball and tries to chase it down. But it's Marquise White who comes away with it, and he's going to send a shot toward goal. It's no good, but the San Francisco Bay Seals are in this contest. They're down only one to nothing. We're gonna take a small break and be right back with the second half. Welcome back to the second half of this quarterfinal match in the U.S. Open Cup. Those are the San Francisco Bay Seals, and they are down one to nothing as they head on to the field. We're going to move to about five minutes into this, into the second half, the 50th minute of the contest. San Jose fighting. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what changes, what adjustments San Francisco has made. See if they come out a little more aggressive. They're down one to nothing, so coach Dr. Tom Simpson, I'm sure, had a few adjustments in the locker room at half. A nice pass being sent all the way across the field. San Jose chases it down, and they've got a little something working. They retreat slightly. Being patient. Kinnear with the ball. Kinnear sends it over to Lozano. Lozano trying to work it back toward the middle. Ramiro Corrales. And Corrales is going to let it fly. Not much of an angle as it slides wide right of the mark. Let's move ahead a few minutes later to the 51st minute of the contest. San Francisco getting physical and the Bay Seals get called for the foul. So it looks like the adjustment that San Francisco has made is that they're going to be a little more aggressive here in the second half. Emanalo and trying to chase it down is San Jose. They spot for a shot, but Wozniak goes to the turf to make the stop. Now to the 55th minute of the contest. Kramer's going to send it out across the midfield stripe. The booming header by C.J. Brown and then headed back across the other side of the field. They fight for it and it's Shane Watkins who comes away with it. Shane Watkins lets it fire. Kramer with a nice stop to deny that time. But Troy Akawa quickly maintains possession. San Jose tries to clear it away. But San Francisco is there 
definitely being more aggressive and uh, being a little hungrier now. You can see more players swarming to the ball when there is a loose ball. That's Gallo. Gallo driving. He sends it across the field. Nobody home, but the speed of San Francisco corrals it on the far side. A takedown, but no call. No whistle that time as the referee lets him play on. Davini loses it. San Jose now with a through pass, and it's Cerritos who's running it down. J.J. Wozniak coming way out to make the stop. He's got the ball there, and he's going to kick it away. Watkins controls. Watkins works toward the middle. He slides it to Marquise White. Marquise White takes a stab at it. But again, Kramer coming up big. He came out to cut off the angle. That was definitely the right choice there and turned him away. But now it's White again. He lets it fly wide left. San Francisco turning on the juice. They're still down, though, one nothing. about midway through the second half now. San Jose on the move. San Francisco clears it on out, trying to clear it out. Shane Watkins getting double teamed. They tackle him there again, no call. And San Jose is not going to back down either. Both teams starting to turn up the intensity level as uh, both teams know they've got a fight on their hands. San Francisco's down one nothing, but I don't think that San Jose feels very comfortable with that one zip lead. And it's San Jose who gets the call. The clash quickly working out there to Lozano. Lozano to the middle. Kinnear with a shot but no problem for Wozniak. Uh, really not a very hard stop that time, right to him, and Wozniak gobbled it on up. Let's work back down the other way. Three minutes later, the 81st minute of the contest. Ball sneaks through. Kramer, though, scoops it up. He slips on the pitch there as he tries to kick it on out. The field is not in the best condition as Kim Tai Simpson sends a long ball down to Angelo Sablo. Sablo on the move, works it toward goal, and again, Arnold Cruz with another header. And you can see the frustration starting to mount on San Jose as they feel uh, the dangerous presence of this San Francisco team. Uh, they must know that San Francisco has a lot of speed, and it looks like it's the speed of San Francisco that's hurting San Jose. But Marquise White, the little man, just bumping Emanaldo off the ball. And now he's working, tries to cross toward the middle. San Francisco still with a chance, and San Jose can't clear it away. It's Troya Cowell who comes away with it. Cowell sends it toward the middle, and Kramer scoops it up. And now keep your eye on the ball, because it's going to happen quickly. Shawnee Simpson one-times it into the back of the net. And in the 71st minute of this contest, we're all tied up one to one. The coach's kid, Shawnee Simpson, comes through with the equalizer. And look at him go up, up into the stands, all of the Green Bay Packers. Plenty of Seals faithful on here at the enemy's nest. And San Francisco has just tied up this ball game one to one. Let's take a look at that in slow mo. He puts it on the turf and fires it into the back of the net. And there's your expert analysis. San Francisco doing what they have to do. Just like that, tie this ball game up one to one as we move about five minutes further into the contest. We're about the 85th minute of the game. Let's see how San Jose now reacts to the, to the tying score. San Francisco on the move. Troya Cowell with the ball. Cowell fires. Kramer with a diving stop, and San Francisco could have gone up right there if it wasn't for the great play of keeper Kramer. Two minutes later now, 87th minute of the contest. San Francisco's Davini with the ball. Davini slips the pass just a little too far, and Doyle is there to intercept. One to one the score. San Francisco tying it up. About the 87th minute, Emanaldo driving. Leads him just a little too far. San Francisco kicks it on away. Both players going up high to head that ball, and San Jose comes down with it. Davini kicks it out of bounds. Emanalo's going to bring it in. Nice crowd on hand today. About 42,000 and some change here to see this contest. And they're here to see J.J. Wozniak, who's really been playing stellar defense. Only that penalty kick has gotten by him. And you can see as he tries to bounce the ball on the ground, uh, really not much there as it just kind of slopped in the mud. He sends a boomer downfield. The keeper comes out and he can't control. Stolen by Watkins. He works back toward the goal. Goal, 
San Francisco. Shane Watkins right through the wickets of the keeper, Kramer, and San Francisco has taken a 2-1 lead over the MLS San Jose Clash. And the fans, the fans are going crazy. They can't believe it. It looks like the fans have turned from a, uh, from a Clash supporters to supporters of the underdog, the San Francisco Bay Seals. And look at this awesome one-on-one -on -one effort. This kid just wanted it more as he steals it from Doyle, works it back toward goal, and nutmegs the goalie Kramer right between his legs. And in the 88th minute of this contest, Shane Watkins puts his team on top. Now San Jose is down by one goal, and they're trying to score the equalizer and tie it back up. You can see the frustration there uh, on Arnold Cruz as uh, he knows time is running out in this game, and there's Wozniak on the ground. He's going to be all right as he came out to make the stop. Now a few minutes later, the 89th minute of the contest, San Jose fighting, and San Jose is going to come away with another call. This is a great chance for them to score the tying goal. Kinnear lines it up. San Francisco forming that wall. Not much time left in this ball game, and San Jose knows they're not going to get many more chances. I'm not sure who's going to take the kick. It's Kinnear. Wozniak is there, and again, the Seals turn him away. We're in injury time now. The, the stadium clock is off, and only the referee knows exactly how much precious time is left in this ball game. And San Jose knows it's desperation time for their team as they try to squeeze one goal out in the waning moments of this ball game. They're fighting for it, and it's San Francisco who comes away with it. And San Francisco should just send it downfield. With not much time left in this ball game, uh, San Francisco can kind of change their strategy, uh, just make San Jose work, make them chase down that ball, and it's the Bay Seals who maintain control on the far sideline, and the Seals are not in any hurry to get it back underway, to get it in play. Plenty of the fans standing on their feet. San Jose with a last ditch effort, and there it is, there's the whistles. The Seals have pulled off the improbable, if not the impossible. They have defeated their second straight MLS club in the U.S. Open Cup, and now they will advance to the final four to represent the city of San Francisco. The Seals seal the deal. It's crazy here, folks. It's Spartan Stadium. The San Francisco Seals have pulled off uh, the biggest victory in team history. I've got the two players who scored the goals right here, Shane Watkins and Shawnee Simpson. Shane, uh, did you think that you could beat this MLS squad? Oh, we always knew we could beat them. We definitely knew we could beat them. We know we can play at this level. It's just... We're not there right now. Okay. <laughs> Shawnee, um, they go out in front one to nothing, take that one to nothing halftime lead. Uh, what happened in the locker room at the half to turn you guys around? Uh, I think it was probably the best thing for us in that situation because they were thinking that uh, we're just going to walk over these guys. But we know deep down inside that it was going to be a fight. And we came out second half. We fought and put two in. Okay. I never thought we were out of it. I just kept on it, kept on it, pressured, high pressure. I knew I could pick them. I was talking about picking them all week, okay. so I did it. Tell me what happened uh, on the goal that tied up the game that you scored. Well, it's kind of like you just go into a zone. The ball just popped out and hit me in the chest, and someone said, kick it, so I kicked it. Okay. Uh, how did it feel when it went through? Uh, probably the most amazing feeling I've ever had. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> uh, tell me this now. Um, you guys just beat two MLS squads in a row. Is there anything left in the tank for the rest of this tournament? Oh, yeah. We're going all the way. Okay. All the way. So this team is not going to get on too much of an emotional high. You guys can keep it level for a few more ball games. Definitely, we can keep it level. What does this victory mean to you guys as a team, and even to the city of San Francisco, to to come away with just two amazing victories? Well, it just shows that there's a lot of players in San Francisco, basically our team, that have been overlooked, and uh, it it just shows the MLS and Sizzle that. We're a strong team. We deserve recognition. We deserve respect. And any team that we're playing against, you're going to have to know that we're coming at you fast and we're coming at you with skill because we're a good team. Do you think you were hungrier than the other club? Uh, probably coming from, you know, 
technically a lower division. I mean, we had to be more prepared than they could. They had to be. Okay, here we go for the opening kickoff. It's your San Francisco Bay Seals in the white uniforms with the red numbers and the mighty DC United sporting the black Intimidator gear. United intercepting the pass. Captain John Harks moves it ahead to Moreno. Jaime Moreno then passes to Echeverry. They try to work a two-man game. It slips out to Echeverry, and Echeverry is fouled, and DC United, it looks like they're gonna get a penalty kick on what you might consider a very generous call this early in the ball game. Now let's see if we can take a look at that from our field level camera. CJ Brown fighting for it, and Echeverry does get clipped, but he does a great job of acting. He falls and tumbles and rolls, and it's Jaime Moreno who's gonna take the kick and he makes quick work of it. Slipping it inside the right post, right by the diving J.J. Wozniak, and just like that, in the first minute of the ball game, the D.C. United go out in front as we take another look at that goal. Look how calm, look how deliberate Moreno is as he delivers the goods. And there's J.J. Wozniak, I'm sure he's a little frustrated, but as he looks back up in the clock, he knows there's still a lot of time left in this ball game, and it's better to be down early one to nothing as opposed to being down late one to nothing as we move ahead five minutes further into the ball game Tony Sine over on the far sideline slips it ahead they move it out to the wing to Richie Williams he crosses to Diaz Arce with a nice header but a great stop by JJ Wozniak but still the United contain Moreno slips it just a little too far and SF lets it go beyond the line. Let's take another look at that shot. Diaz Arce gets up and a great point blank stop by JJ Wozniak who has really been outshining a lot of the MLS goalies in this tournament. Let's move a little further ahead in the action. One to nothing. United, shocking San Francisco with that penalty kick in the first minute of the ball game. San Francisco trying to work it downfield, but it's Carlos Lamosa down there, and the keeper, Garlic, kicks it on out. Headed back by Gallo and controlled by Marquise White. Marquise White tries to slip it ahead, but it's intercepted, and Watkins is over there battling for it. It slips out to Troya Cowell. Troya looking for an angle, sends it toward goal, and Davini kind of whiffs. He tried to uh, pull a quick trigger on that one before it hit the turf. Uh, came up empty, and Garlic is going to send a big boomer downfield. And quickly, DC attacks. Moreno on the far side, working one on one against Weaver. Weaver playing solid defense, staying in front, and intercepts, but it just trickles beyond the line. DC United is going to bring it in from the corner. Echeverry over there sets it down as San Francisco sets their defense. Wozniak bouncing in the box, trying to stay loose. Echeverry directing traffic. Headed out by Troya. Contained by Sine, and then back out to Echeverry. And it trickles on down to Wozniak, who swallows it up and sends it on out. Shane Watkins battling for the ball. It's stolen by Richie Williams and stolen back by Watkins. There's a call, and it looks like it's going to go San Francisco's way. So San Francisco not backing down at all here in the early going in this semifinals match from the U.S. Open Cup. San Francisco's played some great soccer thus far in the tournament. Marquise White centers, and Marquise had uh, two goals in the victory over the Kansas City Wizards. Now sent back out 
and a shot on goal. That one's just a little bit high and right. Let's move ahead to the 23rd minute of the ball game. San Francisco bringing it in. They send it toward goal, but Marquise White is shadowed there by Carlos Lamosa, uh, just uh, blanketing Marquise White, not giving him any chance to get a shot off. Garlic lays it down in front of himself and then gives a big booming kick downfield. It's controlled by SF, though, but they let it slip on out of bounds. And quickly, DC United sets it back into play. Moreno with a little flick kick. The crowd liked that one. Uh, showing off a little of the talent that he's got. And uh, there's a, a great crowd on hand today. A lot of them here to see uh, the MLS champions and the defending cup champion, the DC United. But plenty San Francisco fans have come down from the city to check out their favorite soccer team, the San Francisco Bay Seals. United regains control. They're working at about midfield. Sini leaves it for Vaudarell. He sends it toward goal, a little bit too hard. Big JJ Kid Dynamite Wozniak is there to make an easy stop. He sends it back on downfield. Headed by Watkins, and Marquise White gets up. 5'8", 150 pound Marquise White getting up for that one. Pound for pound, he could be the toughest player out there. But here comes Angelo Sablo, and the ball will just slip out of bounds. Mario Gori playing tough physical defense out there, stripping the ball away from Sablo. Echeverry sends it to the middle where it's controlled by San Francisco, but they can't get anything working. They, United sends it back toward midfield where San Francisco intercepts. They pitch it on down into the corner. It is Folan chasing it down. Folan centers to Troya. Troya with a shot on goal, but it clipped the United defender and slipped to the left of the mark. Moving ahead two minutes, Captain John Hark sends it on in. Yamosa over to Clint Pay. Pay with a pass up to Sani. Sani being hounded there, and Sani fighting back, and he's gonna get called as he just horse collared. Shawnee Simpson, now Shawnee Simpson sends a pass upfield to Shane Watkins, but they're gonna get San Francisco for offside, and quickly, Richie Williams sends it back into play. Folan pitches it forward, Marquise White with a header, shot on goal by Troya. Oh my goodness, Troya trying the bicycle kick. They come up empty, they don't score, but what a great effort by San Francisco. Let's look at that again. Troya almost scores right here, a great foot save by Garlic, and then look at him get up. The bicycle kick, complete 360. What an effort, and the San Francisco Bay Seals are leaving it all on the field tonight. Still down one to nothing, but with the way the Seals are attacking, it might not stay that way for long. Right now, though, United has a chance, but great defense by Gallo to strip it away, and it's Marquise White over to Davini, and then to Sablo. Sablo right past the man. Then goes between defenders, Sablo on the move. Finally stripped at the last minute, but a shot on goal by Shane Watkins. Your San Francisco Bay Seals are coming. And the fans definitely appreciate the effort that Sablo and his whole team is putting out in this semifinals match of the U.S. Open Cup. Garlic is gonna put it back into play, and it's the United who come away with it. Sinise slips the pass to Moreno. Moreno with a chance. Oh, just to the right of the mark. JJ came out to cut off the angle, but still there was an opening, and Moreno knows he let one slip away right there. Now back down at the other end, San Francisco with a direct. They send it to the middle to Troya. Troya with a blistering shot. Plenty of mustard on that bad boy, but Garlic did a great job of just sticking one of those big meat hooks out there and corralling that ball. What an awesome job by Troya and this whole San Francisco team uh, fighting tooth and nail the whole way with this United club. But here comes Diaz Arce with another angle, but he misses the mark. And oh my goodness, I know he's gotta be frustrated with that shot as there was an opening. They could be up two to nothing, but at the half, the score is one to nothing. DC United over your San Francisco Bay Seals. And there goes some of the hooligans as they're affectionately
we know some of the great San Francisco SEAL supporters have come down here to Amos and Alonzo Stag Field, uh, University of Pacific, to see this semifinals matchup. As the players come back onto the field for the second half, we're in the first minute of the second half, a direct free kick, and look at how the United plays it. It's Echeverry who whips it in there, a mighty hooking blast, uh, a great attempt, just a little high of the mark. Uh, United possesses some of the strongest legs uh, in the country. Like I said, they're the MLS champs. This is basically the best soccer team in the United States. And it's really an honor for San Francisco to play them. And the way that they're playing, uh, they're certainly making the city proud. San Francisco on the attack. It goes out of bounds. The city will maintain control. Marquise White is going to give it to Troya. And Troya is the one who's going to bring it in bounds. Troya passes on, on the ground to Davini. Chris Davini sends it toward goal. Garlic comes on out and intercepts that ball. Rolling it back into the field of play, Echeverry. In the middle of the field, Echeverry can be dangerous. He sends it to our side, to Vaudarell. Vaudarell forward, but intercepted by San Francisco. And Troya works the middle of the field to Marquise White. Marquise with a beautiful spin move. He tries to get separation, but the defense quickly closes. Puts on a little stutter step, then back toward the middle. Broken up by DC. DC tries to clear out, but Sini keeps it in. Then taken away by Shawnee Simpson. Look at how active the San Francisco team is. Uh, really hustling for every 50-50 ball, and they seem like they're coming away with the majority of the loose balls. Troya going to throw it in. On the ground to Marquise, back to Troya. But the United are going to intercept and come away with the ball. Moreno double teamed, and San Francisco steals it again. Then Moreno, in frustration, grabbed the hold of the jersey of Cowell, and uh, San Francisco will get the benefit of the call. Troya's going to send it back into play, about 37 yards out. Communicating with uh, Shawnee Simpson. And he's going to leave it for Shawnee. Shawnee with a move. Sani intercepts at the last moment. Then Shawnee hounds Sani. Shawnee shadowing him every step of the way. Moreno comes away with it. Leaves it for Echeverry. Echeverry back to Moreno, but a little too hard. And Shane Watkins with a nice spin move to Marquise White in the middle. But it looks like they're going to get Shane Watkins for a foul as we move ahead to the 51st minute of the contest. About six minutes gone by in the second half, and San Francisco has proved to be the aggressor in the second half. They've come out pushing in the second half, trying to get that one goal back. They're still down one to nothing. Shane Watkins back to the playmaker. Troy Cowell, he sends one just a little too far for Kim Ty Simpson to handle. And United is going to maintain ball control. Richie Williams with the touch. Kim Ty with the interception. He chips it ahead to Marquise White. Marquise on the wing. Back toward the middle of the field. Intercepted by United as they kick it away. San Francisco is going to come away with a corner kick. Vaudarell with a nice play there. And Garlic, you can see his concern. Cowell toward goal. And big Scott Garlic gets up for that one. Sends it back downfield. A long pass headed by San Francisco and then corralled by Raul Diaz Arce. Arce back to the middle to Echeverry. Echeverry sends it back and now Richie Williams controls. To the far side, then sent back to the middle to Moreno. Moreno retreats to Pay. Pay working, slips it to Moreno. Moreno with a little juke. Moreno trying to get an opening. He can't find one. And finally, San Francisco kicks it on out of there. A long pass ahead to Marquise White. Marquise White battles and wins the battle for the ball. He's working against Williams. Sends it to Watkins. Watkins has Cowell open for a moment. And the players kind of bunch together. It slips on out to Shawnee. Shawnee looks like he's going to pull the trigger. Maybe just took a little too long. Gave time for the defense to adjust. They came on over and kicked it out. But still, San Francisco's relentless offensive attack is uh, giving them plenty of chances to score. Troya trying to find an angle. Works it back to Chris Davini. Davini puts on a move. Sends it in. Kicked out by Yamosa. 
then deflected off the DC player. Kim Ty Simpson with a header. Cowell ahead to Shawnee Simpson. Shawnee Simpson at the last moment is corralled by Garlic and look at Garlic get after him. That was definitely the last line of defense as Garlic came out to make the fine stop. We're moving ahead now to the 57th minute of the contest. San Francisco still down one to nothing but they ain't giving up. Believe me, San Francisco is trying even harder as every minute ticks away. Davini moving upfield to Kimtai. Kimtai leaves it. San Francisco battling on the far side for the ball. What a gutsy game by this San Francisco team. United has got to be somewhat surprised and really thankful that they got that early goal because San Francisco has been the aggressor ever since. San Francisco with another opportunity. Here comes Weaver. Weaver slips it on out to Shawnee Simpson. Shawnee between people and he's hit hard, but no call. Oh man, the hooligans are gonna be mad about that one. And look at them. They definitely did not like that non-call and think that the calls have not been that consistent thus far in the game. San Francisco though, the team cannot get frustrated with that kind of thing. They've still gotta maintain focus and maintain that solid approach that they've had so far in this contest. Gallo. Sends it on over to Angelo Sablo. Sablo on the move, but it's kicked away. Davini ahead to Sablo again. Sablo with a little room to work. Here comes Vadarell, not in time, and it's headed out by John Messner. Sablo doing a great job, and a, a lot of these San Francisco players, their stock has to be rising after a great performance in this U.S. Open Cup soccer tournament. United stealing the ball there, but still San Francisco definitely the aggressor in the second half and even for a majority of the first half. Captain John Harks in the middle of the field, but his pass is intercepted and San Francisco once again quickly on the move. Up ahead to Shane Watkins. Shane Watkins with a little room to work, but then quickly blanketed by Carlos Lamosa. Lamosa with a great job of defense there as he just covered all angles. Watkins couldn't get it off, sends it back toward the middle. You see him breathing hard, trying to suck up some wind. Garlic giving directions. And San Francisco's gonna bring it in from the corner. A little too far out. Diaz Arce goes up for it. Kim Tai battling. And Troya comes away with it. Troya being most active in this ball game. Now it's Moreno though. Moreno pushes it in front. And look at the speed of Moreno. He passes back toward the middle to Echeverry. Echeverry slips it on down to Diaz Arce. And just like that, bam. How do you like me now? Raul Diaz Arce scores in the 62nd minute of the contest. DC United now up two to nothing on the San Francisco Bay Seals. And I really want to take a look at that one again from the overhead camera. First look at the speed of Moreno. Then Echeverry, he rears back. That draws the defense, slips it out to Diaz Arce, and he sends a blitzing shot in between the near post and goalie J.J. Wozniak. So San Francisco really with their backs up against the wall now, down two to nothing, and time is a ticking away in the second half. Kim Tai Simpson tries to corral it. He can't get it as it flicks out to United. Then United sends it downfield. Intercepted by Kim Tai. Kim Tai works it to the middle, headed there by Marquise. Intercepted by Yamosa. Yamosa out, and that pass is also intercepted by Shani. Shani between players. Shani approaches goal back to the middle. Oh, just missed by San Francisco. Another shot on goal. San Francisco contains, and United is just going to try to clear it out of there. United comes away with it. Pushing it upfield. Sani with a beautiful pass ahead to Moreno. Moreno taking his time, tries to slip one ahead, but it's blocked by a seal defender. And Kim Tai Simpson comes away with the pill. He works it to Weaver. Weaver crosses the midfield stripe. Time a ticking away on the San Francisco Bay Seal team. Ahead to Watkins, but they get San Francisco for an offside call. 
Moving ahead now to the 77th minute of the ball game. Time ticking away on the great Cinderella story of the San Francisco Seals. Wozniak kicks it on out of there. Over the back, but no call. San Francisco, though, battles right about midfield. Troya fighting hard the whole way, comes down with it. Over to Sablo. Sablo with a nice pass to Davini. Davini back to Weaver. Weaver then chips it forward, but headed back by the United team. And United, Echeverry comes away with it. He's in the middle where he can be dangerous, where he can distribute it to the wing, just like he did there. United with another opportunity. San Francisco, tough defense. That time got a piece of it, kicked it on out of there, and moves it ahead to Marquise White. Marquise White, the brilliant one, the quick one, the energizer with a shot on goal. That time he misses the mark, but San Francisco not packing it in after falling behind two to nothing. You know, a lot of teams could just uh, fold right about this point and uh, even go down further in a ball game like this. But it looks like San Francisco is refusing to die. Uh, they're they're going to give it their all. Gut check time for the city, and the city is answering the gut check call. Back to the middle to Chris Davini. Chris Davini with a little stutter step. Sends it out to Watkins. Watkins moves it ahead to Sablo. Sablo looking. Sablo driving against Yamosa. Yamosa with some great defense out there. And San Francisco's got to kick it back to Watkins. They move it down the line to Davini. Davini to the near side now to Kimtai. Kimtai's pass is broken up. And United's Echeverry tries to leap over a San Francisco player, but San Francisco is, is refusing to be leapt over, and Kimtai comes away with it. Chips it to Watkins. Watkins with a little room on the wing. Watkins centers, headed out by United. Bornacosi, though, is going to contain, and he sends it back in. Cowell gets up. Watkins takes a stab at it, but United finally clears it away. Under six minutes left in the contest. San Francisco still down two to nothing, but they're pressing harder than ever. Davini slips it to Marquise White, and Marquise White scores out of nowhere. San Francisco showing big time hard. They've cut the lead in half, two to one, with five and a half minutes left in this contest. And oh my goodness, look at the hooligans go wild. They've stayed with this San Francisco team the whole way and definitely have given plenty of inspiration to this SEAL squad to help them on this comeback. Let's look at that goal again. A great bicycle kick by Shane Watkins to Davini. Davini to Marquise White. Marquise White came storming in, and out of nowhere, San Francisco is down now only two to one, but there's not very much time left in this ball game. Very impressed with the character of this San Francisco ball club, and I'm sure the DC United club is impressed as well as San Francisco continues to press ahead to Marquise. Marquise with a bullet, a blitzing shot, just banging into the chest of the keeper, Garlic. Garlic did a great time that time to corral it and keep it in his grasp. That ball could have easily bounced back into the field of play and given San Francisco another opportunity. About three minutes left in the game. San Francisco relentless. Shane Watkins on the near sideline. Throws it on in to Troya. Troya flicks it toward the middle of the field, but keeper Garlic intercepts that one before San Francisco could do any damage. Garlic taking his time. He sure has played a great ball game. Kicks it high and hard downfield. San Francisco's Borna Kosi comes away with it. It's tapped out of bounds and we move into the two minute mark of this ball game. DC up two to one. Can San Francisco pull off a miracle comeback and put one more in the net? Whether they do or not, uh, this has been one heck of a soccer game. Sablo controlling. Sablo works it past the midfield stripe. Ahead to Bonacorsi. Bonacorsi has it stripped away, but out of bounds. San Francisco maintains control. Headed out by Williams, but then controlled by Davini. Weaver cuts back, chipped away by United, but San Francisco controls, sending it back toward the middle. 
White puts it up in the air. Bonnerell goes up for it, then Bonacorsi goes up for it, and Bonnerell comes down with it. He sends a long pass downfield, and uh, United definitely has the advantage here. They can just uh, make San Francisco work, kind of play monkey in the middle with the Seals, and uh, make San Francisco expend all their energy, that time sending a pass toward goal. J.J. Watkins swallows it up and spits it on out. Bonacorsi chips one to White. White trying his hardest over there and no call as united comes away with it but we've got a call right there as just a little over aggressive tackle on captain john hart under a minute left in the contest the stadium clock is off and only the referee knows exactly how much and oh nelly that direct free kick could have put this game completely out of reach at your very just over the bar man that was close and there it is, folks. There's the final whistle. A great run by your San Francisco Bay Seals. And they certainly have earned the respect of this DC United club as they go ahead and shake hands. You can see some hugs. And I'm sure that DC did not take the San Francisco Bay Seals team lightly. I'm sure they scouted them. They, uh, they knew that they had some deadly speed and some great players like Marquise White in the middle there getting his head rubbed by Captain John Harks. A great game by both clubs, but it's the DC United who head to the finals of the US Open Cup. The David and Goliath story of the San Francisco Bay Seals ends here. I've got Kim Ty Simpson here uh, just minutes after uh, a disappointing ball game, I guess you might say. Now, even though you lost this one, you guys had a heck of a run to this point. How do you feel about your team? This is, this is the best team I've ever played on in my life, and this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. John Harks and uh, let's, Tony Santa played actually with me um, in the under-19 uh, national finals, um, and he beat me there too. But I mean, it's a dream to play with John Harks and Roy Wagerly. I mean, it's I, I mean, it's I'm speechless. You guys were down coming into the second half, right. uh, one to nothing, and then you even fell down two to nothing. Right. What kind of character did that show for this team to, to put a goal on the on the board and come on back? In the clash game, we went down one nothing. Right. You know, and we went back and won it, right. two to one. And our strategy was to push up, right? And unfortunately, we got caught, you know, a man down and a fast Diaz Arce on, on, on the left-hand side. Unfortunate, it happens. We gamble, we lost, but, you know, you just go on, we fight. Tell me about the fan support. The Seals seems like they have some great fans. These uh, are the greatest fans I've ever had in my life. I mean, I've never been able to bond with fans before. Right. I mean, I go up to these guys, they know all my name, they, they know all of our names. I mean, we know we know a lot of them. You know, they're, we're call, we call them the hooligans. You know, and they've been with us even when we weren't a uh, you know a, a big club. I think we're a pretty big club now at this point. I mean, we're known around the nation, and you know, they're the people that we really count on.